Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy, Reno, coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be five reasons chosen ones can't have friends and be in certain relationships. Yes, sir. I said it. You heard me right, y'all. Let me say it one more time, louder for the people in the back. Five reasons chosen ones can't have friends and be in certain relationships. Yes, sir. Now, understand this, y'all. As a chosen one, there's going to be certain obstacles, certain people you meet, and certain things that you have to go through. But you're going to have to understand that as a chosen one, number one, Everybody can't go. Yes, sir. And number two, as a chosen one, it's going to be certain things that you go through and you're going to have to only go through it by yourself. All right. So understand this, y'all. You're not going to be able to have friends or the average friends, okay, that you used to have when you was once average. All right. Well, Reno, man, I'm just an average man. I'm an average girl. Listen, I'm just trying to do whatever I do and I want to have my friends. Okay, cool. If you want to have your friends, you can simply have your friends, but you got to understand this. You're going to have to cut loose the greatness. Yes, sir. And you're going to have to cut loose that thing that God has called you to do. Okay. And the reason why I say that is simply because as a chosen one, there are going to be certain obstacles that you go through that everybody simply won't be able to go through. Why? Because they're going to slow you down. Okay. Those who are chosen ones will be slowed down or they will, the people who are you, the people that you're hanging with will slow you down or not only that, but throw you off focus. All right. So understand that y'all. So that's what I just want to start that video by letting you know that as a chosen one. You're going to only be able to hang with a select few. And guess what? They're going to be chosen. Okay? So with that being said, y'all, this video is going to be powerful. But before I get into these uh, reasons of why you can't have friends, I'm going to need you to leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, but make sure you drop in the comments and say everybody can't go. All right? Make sure you drop in the comments, y'all, and say everybody can't go, okay? So the first reason of why chosen ones can't have friends and be in certain relationships is going to be this, y'all. They will secretly be jealous of you. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of other people in the back. Understand this, y'all. They will secretly be jealous of you, okay? So, Rena, what do you mean by that, man? Elaborate. All right. So as I elaborate on this situation, I want y'all to understand this. When you are a chosen one, people are going to see the things that you've accomplished. OK, people are going to see your favor. People are going to see your grace and people are going to see right the things that you've achieved. OK, and not only that, but the attention that you get. All right. As a chosen one, you're going to get a lot of attention. As a chosen one, you're going to achieve a lot of things because it's already written in your decree that you're going to do great things. Yes, sir. It's already written in your decree that you are special and that you are a marked man or woman. All right? Understand that. You are a marked man or woman. Okay? And so those who are around you, they're not going to be able to sustain and be there genuinely because they're going to be jealous of the attention you get. They're going to be a, they're going to be jealous of the things that God is doing for your life. They're going to be jealous secretly. Okay? And so I want to say this, y'all. I read in this quote, y'all, and I hope I'm not misquoting, but I read in this quote that it's better to have a thousand enemies on the outside of the house than one enemy on the inside of the house. Yes, sir. Let me say that one more time, y'all. Understand what I'm saying? Listen, it's better to have a thousand enemies on the outside of the house rather than to have one enemy on the inside. What you mean by that, Reno? Listen, I'd rather have people who are jealous of me, okay, that's on the outside versus being on the inside of my circle. See, it's better to have a thousand people who don't like you Right? And they're nowhere near you. I'm okay with that. But see, the person who is dangerous is the person that's on the inside of your castle. The person that's on the inside, you know, uh, of, of what you're doing. The person who you sleep with. Oh, I'm talking heavy, y'all. The person who you sleep with. The person who you tell your darkest secrets to. The person who you, you know, you went to school with. I'm talking about that person. I ain't talking about the person who ain't worried about you. I'm talking like they jealous of you, okay? But they ain't really worried. They're like, they're on the outside. I'm talking about the person who portray themselves to be a, a, a friend, family, 
a wife, a husband, girlfriend, boyfriend. I'm talking about that individual, okay? So, before I move forward, y'all, somebody drop in the comments and say, I understand, Reno. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I understand. I want to make sure y'all following along with me. And so, as I elaborate on this once again, y'all, chosen ones will not be able to have friends, okay, in certain relationships because people, they will simply be jealous of you secretly. Right. And you will see little certain signs, you know, little comments or remarks they uh, they may make. Right. Certain conversations y'all may have certain things they may do. Uh, it's going to show in their actions. OK, listen, somebody drop in the comments and say action speak louder than words. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say action speak louder than words. All I'm simply saying is, y'all, you got to be mindful of who you connect with and who you be around. Because I guarantee you, chosen one, I guarantee you, you're going to start seeing these signs and reasons. All right. If you start hanging around certain people who don't have what you have. Listen, I and I always say this, y'all. I always say that I'm no better than the homeless man on the street, right? But I'm not. You're not gonna catch me having a barbecue with the homeless man on the street. You're not gonna catch me inviting the homeless man on the street inside my house. Why would I do that, right? Like one thing I like that Tupac said, y'all, was uh, America is like one of the biggest uh, hypocrisies, right? Whoever exists, and he said that it's like he used he used this analogy. He said that let's take a group a group of people who's hungry, right? And they being nice. They saying, we are hungry, please let us in. We are hungry, please let us in. Okay? And then he said, all right, after a few, after a few weeks, that song gonna change up to uh we hungry, we need some food. After another uh, after a couple more weeks, it's gonna turn into Bring another food up, we bring it on the door. You know what I'm saying? He said, after that, I'm picking the, I'm picking the door. What do you say? I'm picking the door, coming through the door, blasting. And and basically what he's saying is, is this right here, y'all. It's only a certain amount of time that you can just keep eating in front of a person's face, okay? Before they get tired, right? And before they want to say, you know what? I'm going to take it. And that's the same thing of what I'm saying, right, with a person who is secretly jealous of you. It's only so long and so much that you can, uh, that they're going to be able to take. And it's going to be only so much of a time that they can be around you before those jealous tendencies just start coming out, right? And they just going to start showing their actions, okay? So I hope that that made some sense to y'all. If that made sense, y'all drop in the comments and say, made sense, Reno, okay? But the second reason of why chosen ones can't have friends in certain relationships, it's going to be this, y'all. They will try to sabotage you. Yes, sir. Let me say that one more time for the people out there in the back. Understand this, y'all. They will try to sabotage you. Sabotage is real, right? Sabotage is real. So, Reno, what is sabotage? For those who don't know, sabotage is an act of trying to destroy or destruct something, right? Sabotage is an act of trying to destroy or destruct something. Meaning, let's just say I have a business, right? And my business is doing better than the other person's business. And let's just say that person's supposed to be my friend, my homegirl, my girl, my homie, whoever it is, right? And they're around and they see how my business is doing. Well, let's just say they try to sabotage my, uh, they trying to sabotage me, right, by sabotaging my business. So let's just say I need them to show up at a certain amount of time, or I need them to sh uh, show up at a specific time, or this is or something bad is going to happen to my business. And let's just say that constantly they're showing up after the time that I told them that they need to be there, or something bad was going to happen. Well, they they're. Uh, they're sabotaging my business on purpose, right? Well, they're actually trying to sabotage me, but but in order to sabotage me or hurt me, they got to hurt something or sabotage something that I care about, which is my business, okay? And so the, I can go on and on with the examples, but y'all get the point. The point is people, or they will try to sabotage you, okay? They will literally try to sabotage you, your business, or anything that's connected to you, right? This is why chosen ones can't be around certain people. Yes, sir. Listen, drop in the comments and say everybody can't go, all right? Sir, chosen ones cannot be around everybody. I have someone tell me, Reno, you are not regular, 
right? So you cannot be around people who are. You think you're going to see Kevin Hart hanging around a whole bunch of people who are not doing the same thing that he's doing? Do you think that Jay-Z is going to be hanging around a bunch of people who's not doing the same thing that he's doing? But what are you saying, Reno, right? The genius. Well, what I'm simply saying is, is this right here, y'all. You can't surround yourself around people who don't have what you have because at some point, they're going to try to sabotage you, okay? At some point, they're going to try to destroy or destruct what you have. And need I say this, y'all? Do I need to say it? I think I'm going to say it. The enemy came to kill, steal, and destroy, right? And so all I'm simply saying is, y'all, as a chosen one, you have to watch, right, who you allow to be around you uh, consistently because they will try to sabotage you in anything that you are connected to, all right? The third reason, it's going to be this, y'all, they feel entitled to your success. Yes, sir. I'm going to say that one once again, louder for the people in the back. Understand this, y'all. They will feel entitled to your success, Okay, we've seen this uh, with Romeo and his daddy, right? And I don't get into the drama, y'all, so I ain't finna elaborate on that a lot. But what I will say is entitlement, right? We've seen this with a lot of these rich kids, entitlement. We've seen this, you know, with people who have businesses, right? And they and they are successful, and the people who they uh, was they, their day ones, the people who they started with, or people who they were attached to by default, right? And you see how they act like, oh man, you ain't want to, uh, 50 cent son. Uh, my dad was giving me, I think he said, I forgot what the number was, y'all. I don't want to be on here, you know, talking crazy, but he said something around like, I was just getting 10,000 a month or I was just getting $20,000 a month. It was some number, y'all. And I could be off, but I know what I do. I do know this for a fact. It was some amount of money, right? That him and his mama was getting every month. And he was talking about that wasn't enough. That was entitlement. So understand this, chosen ones. You're going to have people who are around you that feel entitled to the things that you built. I don't know what it is. Whatever you built. You built the business. You built your, your social media. You built your, uh, I mean, your life up. I mean, whatever you built up. But it's going to be certain people who feel entitled to your new car. They feel entitled to your new house. Why you ain't invite me? Or why I can't drive your car? You feel entitled to the things that I've, I've, I've built, right? And the things that I've accumulated. Entitlement is real, y'all. Entitlement, entitlement is real. Somebody drop in the comments and say, it don't belong to you. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, it don't belong to you because what God has given you and gifted you is only for you, right? And for the ones who he want you to bless with. Because see, the thing is with God, y'all, he don't give you, uh, you know, $10 million only for yourself. He gave you $10 million, you know, for yourself, but for you to bless other people. So what are you saying, Reno? What I'm simply saying is, it's going to be, although it's going to be people who are entitled to your success, and those people, uh, chances are, it wasn't meant for those who are entitled. It's meant for the people who just need help. And they're, and they're not even entitled. The ones who, they're not entitled. they like, man, look, I'm happy for you. Those are the ones that God wants you to help. Not the ones who, I need this, and I need that. Give me this. Give me that. No. No. You got your hand out, right? But you don't want... Listen, they got their hand out, but they don't want to give a hand out. Okay? Understand this, y'all. They got their hand out, but they don't want to lend their hand out. Meaning, you asking for something, but you don't want to help with nothing. Understand this chosen one, you're not going to be able to be friends with everybody. Yes, sir. You're not going to be able to be in relationships with everybody. It's just not going to be able to happen. Okay. So realize this as a chosen one, you won't be able to have as many, <clears throat> as many friends and as many, uh, you know, relationships that you would like to have. You, you're not going to be able to date everybody, right? It just, it is what it is, y'all. I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the rules, y'all. Uh, number four, the fourth reason is going to be this, unappreciative. And this is a big one, y'all. Okay, this is a real big one. They will become unappreciative, right? I'm, I'm talking about, let's just say you give them, you know, you done gave them $20, $30. Well, why you can't give me $60? I mean, I needed $200. I mean, that, that, 
You like, I mean, look, I didn't have to give you nothing, right? I ain't have to give you they fan you. I ain't have to give you nothing. But here you are, you at the kindness of your heart, you trying to give them something so they can get them something to eat, you know, help them, whatever. The kindness of your heart allows you to do that. But see, what happens is, chosen one, when you are connected with the wrong person, they begin to uh, feel unappreciative of the things that they have uh, received from yourself. Well, why are they unappreciative? Number one, because you never tell them no, right? You never tell them no. So the first time you say uh, no, they're like, what? Hold on, you talking to me? I know you ain't told me no. Nah, you can't be talking to me, bro. Nah, since you ain't talking to me. And you're like, no, nah, I told you I don't have it, right? I don't have it. And so you have to understand that since you told them yes so many times, that one time you told them no, they're going to forget about all the times you was there for them. I didn't make the rules. I didn't make it up. This is just how it is, y'all. And you will experience this chosen one. So realize, you got to be mindful of who you be friends with and who you connect yourself to. Okay? A lot of people will be unappreciative of the things that you've done for them, helped them out with, right? Because you are a chosen one. And they don't want your help. They want your life. Mm. Oh, we're talking heavy, y'all. They don't want your help. They want your life. And so you got to realize and understand that and be able to be okay with that and move forward. Everybody is not for you. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say, everybody is not for me. Okay? Make sure you drop in the comments and say, everybody is not for me. All right? And so the last reason, right, of why chosen ones cannot have friends or be in certain relationships is going to be this, y'all. Number five, you won't be able to trust them. Okay, I'm going to say that one one more time. A lot of other people in the back. You won't be able to trust them. Well, Reno, what do you mean by that? Slow it down for me. Understand this chosen one. You cannot be around someone who's jealous of you. You can't be around someone who want what you want, uh, want what you have. You can't trust a person who uh, wants your spot in actuality, right? They just really overall. They want your spot. You can't trust a person like that, okay? Y'all ever seen Lion King? I'm sure y'all have, right? Lion King is one of my favorite movies, but they actually redid it, okay? And they had, like, real characters. It was like the animation on it was, like, crazy. If you haven't seen it, you got to check it out, y'all. But understand this. I was watching Lion King, and y'all know the story of Mufasa and his brother Scar and how he was jealous of him the whole time, Right? Jealous of him the whole time. And every time Mufasa come around, he was, yes, brother, you know, I love you. And, you know, just trying to act like he's there really for Mufasa. And the whole time he wanted his spot. The whole time he wanted Mufasa's spot. Okay? And so with Scar, the moment he got a chance to take his brother out of the game, the moment he got that chance, he let his brother fall down. Now, I know somebody listening like, man, Reno is just a cartoon, but it's deeper than a cartoon for me. It's deeper than just a movie for me. Because this happens all the time. The person who you love the most. Yes, sir. The person who you'll get your shirt off. Get, you'll get them the shirt off your back to. Right? The person who you done been there for the most is the person who will turn their back on you, chosen one. And so you got to understand that. Whether that's friends, family, girlfriend, boyfriend, sister, daddy, cousin, whoever it is. Listen, co-worker, listen. The moment they get the opportunity to take you out the game or take your spot, take your position, leave you hanging, leave you drowning, leave, leave you drained, drown, whatever the case is, they will. And so you can't trust them, Right? And anybody and everybody should know this, right? Trust takes years to build and only seconds to break. Yes, sir. Trust is real, y'all. Somebody drop in the comments and say trust is real. And the reason why I say that is because it really is real. I want you to understand that. And so as a chosen one, you're not going to be able to trust everybody, right? You're not going to be able to have everybody around you. Do you think that Beyonce let everybody around her? Do you think that Jay-Z let everybody around him? It's just not happening. You're not getting my address. I'm sorry, young Beyonce. You're not, I, I can't invite you to my brunch. I'm sorry, young Jay-Z. 
I'm not saying that you're better than anybody. I'm not saying that they're better than anybody. But what happens is they have placed value on themselves. And I want you to do the same thing for you. Place value on you. And as a chosen one, it's going to be people who you're not going to be able to kick it with no more. It's going to be people who you're not going to be able to tell your business to anymore. It's going to be people who you, you got to alleviate them from the circle. Or you got to remove yourself from their circle. Either way it go, as a chosen one, you won't be able to have certain friends and be in certain relationships no more, okay? So I hope I was able to elaborate, explain, and, and articulate the message so, so y'all can understand exactly what I mean and how I mean, okay? So with that being said, y'all, I'm gonna conclude this video by saying this, you are the chosen one, and listen, you gotta treat yourself as if you are the chosen one. Yes, sir. So with that being said, y'all, y'all make sure y'all hit the link in my description. Check out any one of my books. That's Eight Steps to Self-Publishing, a successful book, Rich Mentality, Traumatized by Love, as well as Fairly Unequal. Also, be sure to join any one of my memberships. That's my YouTube membership, as well as my Patreon. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.